I have Mayu here of Mayu E Room. Yes. And today we're going to talk about English language education or language education in general with specific reference to Japan, but not only. Mm-hmm. And I'll leave a, ref, uh, a link to Mayu's uh, YouTube channel in the description box. Hi, Mayu. Hi. Thanks for having me. S- okay, well, I'm looking forward because, you know, I lived in Japan for nine years. Mm-hmm. It's a country that I, I really enjoy. I love being in Japan. Yeah. Uh, so many interesting things happen there. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that always comes up is that, you know, Japan, uh, they have more people taking TOEIC than any other country and they don't do very well. And, oh. and, and, and I'd like to talk to you about this because you speak such excellent English. Thank you. And you not only have learned English and I gather you're learning Spanish and you also studied at Middlebury College in the United States, yeah. language acquis- acquisition and so forth. So uh, tell me, why is it you think that Japanese people seem to have more difficulty with English than, I mean, it, uh, geographically, I can understand it too, but mm. what are some of the problems? Let's put it this way. What are some of the problems with English language education in Japan? I think we are actually not so bad at English, like on paper. Um, mm-hmm. As in, like, we are good at reading and writing, mm-hmm. I think, relatively. But、mm-hmm. for listening and speaking, it's very difficult for us because we have literally zero opportunity in Japan to、mm-hmm. listen to real English. And we have, like, we don't have any reasons to speak English outside of、right. the classrooms.、Um, and the、Absolutely. only, like, reason. We study English is because we need that knowledge for the exams to, to,、mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. to you know, enter university.、Um, and also, I think we are told like there is right and wrong in a lot of things.、Um, mm-hmm. So, like, if, if our pronunciation or grammar isn't good enough, we are、mm-hmm. not really like. People are going to be judgmental. That's what we think,、mm-hmm. like deep down. Right. And that's not just language education, that's like instilled in our education, like even in the, the family, I think.、Uh-huh. Okay. I should say, by the way, that we're going to speak half in English and half in Japanese.、Okay. But I wanted to have at least half in English so people could hear your excellent English. <laughs> Thank you.、Uh, and, and obviously, it's true. I mean, if you live in Japan, it's 130、mm. million people, and, and、uh, you, you don't really need English for most、mm. situations. And yet, at, at some level in Japan, I mean, if I go to a bookstore in Japan, I go to the language section,、yeah. and all the books, there's so many books on learning English, so many、yes. books on TOEIC. So there is, <laughs> there is a lot of interest in it.、Mm. And there, so, there's a lot of、yeah. um, like、online platforms that you can learn English now. That,、mm-hmm, like,、mm. after I think after COVID started, it has expanded、mm-hmm. a lot because people had so much more time、um, at home、mm-hmm. and they wanted to start something new. They maybe wanted to prepare themselves、uh, to study or work abroad.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of resources,、um, yet we still struggle to learn, acquire the language. Now, you went to Middlebury College. Yeah.、Uh, so, first of all, that would be,、uh, you know, obviously, I had the same experience when I went to live in France as a 19 year old.、Mm-hmm. When we, as a student, go to another country, a different culture, different language, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah.、Uh, but you studied language acquisition, I think, amongst other things. And, and what did you learn in Middlebury College that was different from how languages are taught in Japan? Okay, I think、um, one of the most interesting things was. I took Spanish at Middlebury and I also、mm-hmm. took Spanish in Japan. And there was a huge difference.、Um, in Japan, it was more focused on like how much、um, vo- vocabulary do you know? How,、mm-hmm. um, like, a lot of like, you know, these like,、uh, encontrar, encontrarlo, encontrarle, encontramos, like, a lot of that in Japan.、Right. But in conjugations, yeah, yes, conjugations.、Um, but in、uh, in Middlebury, we were forced to speak the language in every single class, and、huh. and we also had to read a lot. Like, it was, it was, it was 
above my level. Um, the book, mm -hmm. the books were like it, I couldn't read them, but we had to. Right. <laughs> it was so right. difficult because I. Oh, that's had, good. Yeah, I had my dictionary like next to me all the time, and I was like, okay. I don't know this word, this word, this word, and like I don't know anything. Um, so it was like much harder than my level. Um, mm -hmm. So and but you we, know, yeah, yeah. And we also had to like present in Spanish. Like we had mm -hmm. to make a presentation in Spanish that wasn't um, anything like uh, what I learned in Japan. Right. But you know, one thing you said that the Japanese people can all read well, mm. but how common I is it in Japan for people to read novels in English? A full novel. How? Why, why do we not do that? No, no, I'm saying do people do that? Is that common oh, that people oh. would read novels in English? No, I think, well, when I discuss some, some of like similar things with my friend uh, from America, he mm. says, um, like why he asks me like why do you not read books but you learn like like in even in japanese we don't really read like the whole books like that's like mm -hmm. ancient books or like you know like kobun no right. hon or something right. yeah, yeah, um, yeah and in the u.s when i also studied in high in high school in the u.s mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. we had to read a lot of literature um or like mm -hmm. you know a lot of like Great Gatsby, um, Catcher in the Rye mm -hmm. or something. Um, and I mm -hmm. never had that experience in Japan. We would read like an excerpt from the books, mm -hmm. but not the whole thing. So we we would just like read a, the summary of the books and like mm -hmm. pretend that we understand. Um, yeah. So see, we see, I'm don't a great even believer in, in reading books. Mm. I'm a great believer in reading books. Every language I've learned, when I can read a book, from cover to cover, that's a major, uh, major achievement. <laughs> and I often hear people say, oh, I can read so well, but what do you read? You read newspaper oh. articles. Read a book, you know, people who read well. And, and that's part of what's in Link, because with Link, you can actually, you know, mm. you don't have to look, keep on looking words up in the dictionary. You can actually look them up and they, you know, mm -hmm. you, you develop, uh, you know, lists of words and how many words you've learned and stuff. Mm. The, the whole function, I think uh, reading is underestimated. Mm. Uh, and, and not just reading short articles, but actually reading books, uh, I, I think is, is very important in terms mm. of getting the language in, into your brain. Mm. But um, yeah, Japan, uh, but of course there are people who learn English to a very high level of proficiency in Japan. It's not everyone, but, but uh, I think the Japanese tend to think of themselves as being poor learners of English. They think we're, we're doing p poorer than the Koreans or we're the Chinese mm. or other people in Asia are better than we are. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm not sure that that's the case. So, let's talk about あの、ま、日本、ま、日本語は非常に特有な特別なこのその言語なんですよね。うん。あの、いろんな語彙が中国語から来たけれども、その中国語系統でもないんですよね。うん。あの、日本は日本系統って言えばね、これ本当その、あ
なんかこう読むもの読み物もなんかあんまり楽しいものというよりかは、うん、なんかこういきなり結構こう難しい論文のなんかこう一部を読まされたりとかなんかもうちょっと簡単でもいいのかなと思います。うん、なんかこう,う、ちっちゃい子供が、ちっちゃい子、アメリカの子供が読んでるようなもので、うん、あの、をから読み始めて、なんか面白いとか、あとはもう、ハリーポッターとかディズニーとか、もうなんか、すでにこうみんな大好きだよね、みたいなものを学校で取り扱うとか。そうですよね。はい。なんかそういうところからだと、すごいなんかこう、ポジティブに英語を捉えられやすいかなと思います。今は結構難しい。うん、はい。同感ですね。確かにそのハリ、ハリーポッターがね、うん、その英語の教育においてね、非常に大きな貢献し,したと思うんですよ。ハリーポッターがね。はいはい。しかし、あの、さっきおっしゃったように、その、The c a s h e r in the Right というのはそんなに難しい本でもないでしょ。うん、そうですね。読みやすかったと思います。そう,そうですよね。だそういうような本をね、その、まあ、好き嫌いがあるけれども、うんうん、楽しい。さ何も古文とか。<笑>何百年前のあれを読むよりも<笑>はい<笑>現代的なその文ね<笑>うんうん、うん、そうですね、okay、であのしかし日本人の中ではですね、はい、その英語っていうのはあくまで今ね、うん、勉強しないといけないっていうそういう、うんうん、その義務だとそういうようなものでしょうねいろんな大部分の人にとっては、はい、大好きだからというのが少ないでしょ、うん、いやそうですね子供の時にこう英語の勉強の始まり方もなんか最初はその、うん、なんかあの ABCD とかやるんですけどなんか中学に入った瞬間に私の場合は私の時代は結構こうでは I have a pen は have、うんハブが、げ、動詞、一般動詞で、みたいな、こう、結構こう、うん、いきなりそういう、何ですかね、概念的なところから入ってしまうので、やっぱなんかこう、拒否反応が出てしまうと思いますね。そうですよね。うん、まあ、カナダでも同じなんですよ。その英語の学校ではね、うん、みんなフランス語を勉強しないといけません。あ、そうですよね。国の、もあれですか、正式英語も言語だから、覚えないといけないと。はいだからみんな興味ないんですよ、逆に、うんえー。スウェーデンとかオランダなんかではですね、みんなそのテレビは全部そのオリジナルバージョンでしょ、うん、英国なら英国、アメリカなら英国、あまあ、アメリカはね、英語でしかないんですよ、テレビは。何もそのダブリング、ダビングはないんですよね。だから若い子がね、小さい子供が5、6歳、7歳、会社、その学校入ったらね、もうすでにこの英語というのは割と馴染みがあるんですよね。それは大きなファクターですよね。はい、もし、最初のぶつきあ、ぶつかえ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶつけ、ぶあの、うん、なんか意味はわかんなかったんですけど、when the weather is fine とか言ってなんか歌ってたんですよ。うん、で、なんか、はい、あの、全然意味わかんないけど、まあ、今考えたらなんか天気がいい時ってわかるんですけど、それでもなんかこう、はい、このお歌はなんか日本語と違ってなんか楽しいなーって思ってからこう中学に入れたので、でなんか、あ、これは、このルールに基づいてやってる、なんかこう、言語なんだっていう、後からこう楽しいものの追加のルールみたいな感じだったので、私はこう、すんなりと、あの、全然抵抗感なくいけたっていうのがあるので、そういう楽しい入り方、もっとした方がいいかもしれないですね。そうですね。楽しき、楽しい入り方が大切です。うん、言葉の勉強というのは楽しくないと、うん、なかなかうまくいかないと思います。そうですね。まあ、続かない。そういうところで、はい、今日はね、ま,まずあの我々の今のビデオあの見てらっしゃる方ではね、はい、うんその英語あのまゆさんのチャンネルでやはり英語日本人に対する英語および言葉の勉強についてのいろんなアドバイスとか、うん、そのコツとかいろんなそのあれですよ資料もね与えてるわけです。だから、あのディスクリプションボックスにリンクもありますから。あ,ありがとうございます。えー、それで、それとまた、我々の今のビデオ見てる
、日本語を勉強してるまた外国人もあるあの日本人でない人もいるから、うんえー、全部その日本多分我々のディスカッションの日本語の部分をね、うん、リンクの中に一つのレッスンとして載せましょうか、うん、そしてし皆さん日本語を勉強してる人たちはそれをまた、えー、使ってそれぞれ、まあ、日本語の,その進歩につながればいいと思います。うんどうも、あの、まゆさん、はい、忙しいところ、こちらこそ本当にどうもありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。はい、ありがとうございました。さよなら。さよなら